Hey folks, it's Scott here, the Amateur Angler. It's uh, been a while since I did a post, so I thought I'd bring you up to speed on a couple things that would be important to you. Um, really spending a lot of time lately getting ready for my, uh, my big annual fishing trip. Uh, I head up to uh, Hearst, and I fly with Hearst Air for a one-week fly-in remote fishing lodge outpost camp experience. Um, if you look back on one of my uh, previous posts, I'll, uh, you can read all about it. But getting ready for that is an important thing. So I thought I'd show you a couple things that I'm working on here. So one of them is about gear. So I've got about seven different boxes similar to this where I store my lures in. And when you do a fly-in trip, you're really limited with the amount of space and the amount of weight you can take up. Now I'm not so worried about weight as far as tackle goes because it's not that much uh, as far as poundage. But uh, smaller boats and only so much gear size and only so much fits on the plane, I've got to try and pack it in as much as I can. So one of the things that I do um, is particularly with things like crankbaits and jerkbaits is um, putting them so that they can all fit into, into one spot. So if you take a look at this tray, I mean typically you'd only be able to put about eight lures in it. Um, if you know you're doing them in, in, in the boxes still and it's great to do the boxes because the depth charts are on it and in some cases you can fit two where I'd be able to put two on top of each other but even still there's not much and then if you take a look in here I've got a ton of different cranks and jerk baits put in here and I'll show you what I do with them which is a, a really simple trick that I learned off of uh, the internet so this is a new lure I've got. It's a, uh, it's a Smithwick. I've got a series of Smithwicks uh, of the Rogue series, but this is the Smithwick specifically for topwater. Because one of the things that we love doing is going out in the uh, late evening when the weather calms, but at dusk or at dawn, and going out and doing some topwater fishing for big pike. And uh, if you can get a pike to hit on the top of the water, it's, it's really quite a sight. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. This is a brand new lure that I, that I picked up last night. Um, and so I'll show you how it goes. So pretty standard lure with all of those hooks on it. Uh, it be really hard to, to pull that out without tangling it. So I take your basic rubber band. So what I'll do is I'll line up the hook. And I'll hook it with an elastic band. And then I'll take my rear hook. And I'll essentially do the same thing and I'll hook it around and I'll go back around I'll try and pick up the middle hook you know if if I can back around and then when I'm done all I'm gonna do is um, finish it off so finish it off on the hook right really little thing now those are hooks here so I can throw it in and I can pull it out I can mix it in you know I can pull it out so little techniques like that allow me to store all kinds of lures in here so um, again I can pull out at will I mean these are five different crankbaits that I've got all stored together um, I've got about eight um, in here I mean there's one of my uh, one of my scatter wraps there's a BX minnow there's a tail dancer I mean they're all lined in here together and I can pick them out so if you're looking for really good ways to store more tackle in a smaller space consider something as simple as a rubber band